Well, good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. It is Sunday, December 11th, 2011, 12-11-11. 11, and we're going to have a short version of Take 5 today uh, because I don't want to start the next passage until tomorrow. So we are in Luke chapter 8, verse 1. Soon afterward, he went on through cities and villages, proclaiming, and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him, and also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's household manager, and Susanna, and many others who provided for them out of their means. Just a couple of points here. All right. Those who preach the gospel full time need to be supported. And the more benefit they are to you personally, the more you should support them. So I would strongly encourage you, if you're part of a local congregation, to support the ministry of your local congregation. If there's a national ministry that uh, provides you with encouragement, or teaching or something along that line, I would encourage you to support uh, those teachers or preachers. Uh, the Bible says that the workman deserves his wages. So you've got Jesus and his disciples going around doing some amazing things and it says that uh, these were women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. So they had a lot to be grateful for. And out of their gratitude they provided financially for the needs of Jesus and the disciples. And the reason you want to do that is so that they can concentrate full time on that work. You know not everybody's gifted with ministry. Now I believe I'm gifted with teaching. I'll be honest, I'm not gifted uh, with ministry. There's a, it's a much broader thing. So I want to support those people who have that gift, who God has given them that gift, who know how to minister to people on a regular basis so they don't have to work uh, outside jobs as well. I want them to be able to devote themselves uh, exclusively to that. So I will support them. And I would encourage you to do that as well. So the more you've been blessed, the more you support those who are meeting your needs. Alright? That's pretty simple, seems to me. So come back tomorrow for the next edition of Take 5.